I was trying to stay away from ordering too much stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie and I upload videos on lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. As you can probably tell, I'm going to be doing a mini Halloween haul. It's going to be very small because, you know, your girl's on a budget, but I just couldn't help myself. There's certain things that I just have to get each year around this time of the year. I am already in spooky mode and Halloween is one of those holidays that I just live for. So the earlier we start, the longer it can last. And yes, guys, I am filming with 90 degree weather outside, my AC off. You know I'm writing up? It's okay, we're gonna make it. Especially with these bright ass lights, but it's alright. It's alright. So the first thing I want to go through is my Bath & Body Works order because obviously that's what I'm most excited about. I actually placed two orders to be honest with you guys because I was trying to stay away from ordering too much stuff. But yeah, you'll see. So this is my first order here. And I already opened it because I couldn't help myself. But I did hold myself for the others. But the first thing I got was this candle. Of course, you can never go wrong with a spooky Halloween candle. I did take a little risk with the scent because I think it's one of their new Halloween scents. It's called Enchanted Candy Potion. But it does smell so good, which I'm so happy about. And it looks like this. I really love the packaging of the candle. I usually tend to stick to like sweet smells. Those are my favorites. And this one says that it smells like spellbinding sugar, bewitch berries, whipped pixie dust, and natural essential oils. So I do love the way this smells. If you're into like fruity, sweet smells, you would probably love this candle too. And I only got one candle because honestly guys, I have a lot of candles already. And I also like to buy the plugins. So the next thing I got was some hand soaps so i got two of them the first one is sugar spell and the second one is gold friend and this scent i've actually purchased before in candle and i loved it so i knew i was gonna love the soap smell as well and this one was also a new one for me but it says that it smelled like spooky sugar lemons candy gumdrops and sweet musk like I said, fruity, sweet. I knew I was gonna like it, and I do. But I'm not gonna lie, I do like this one more. And the fragrance notes for this soap is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. So I love their foaming hand soaps, and I love to put this in the bathroom and cute packaging. So you already know. Next thing I got was pretty random, but I just got like one bath bomb, and I got it in gold friend also. I already knew I love the way it smells, and. I don't know i need to do some more self-care so it definitely gives me an excuse to take a little bath you know so it definitely gives me an excuse to do like a little bubble bath or something the next thing i got was some hand sanitizer spray i actually like to keep the spray form in the car and the one that we had in the car ran out so i got this one it's called vampire blood and this is another scent that I've had in candle form. You already knew that I love the way it smells. And it's so cute, the packaging. It looks like blood and red. And the fragrance notes for this is... Hmm. Okay, it doesn't say it on here, but I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see. It's another sweet one. And then for this order, I also got some mini hand sanitizers the packet ones i think it was like a special of like by five for an amount i don't remember but i always get the little deals if i can and i did have five i have four here but i gave one to my son already but this pack came with three of the gold friends which you already got you guys already know i love one of the vampire blood and one of the enchanted candy potion which is just like the candle so love these um i think they were like a like a little halloween pack or something very convenient and then i also got this little cute kitty which is like a little keychain you can put it on your key in your backpack your purse wherever you want and it's a holder for this hand sanitizer so cute <laughs> i love this guys to be honest this is like the cutest thing i'm definitely gonna be putting this in my bag and then you just use it as is like this mm. Oh, I love this smell. So for this order, that was it. I did spend a whopping $76.47. So, yeah. And then for my next order from Bath & Body Works as well. Let's open this baby up. I got just a few more things. 
So when I realized it was in my budget, <laughs> not really, but I got another order from Bath and Body Works and it included another soap. Yes, Vampire Blood. I knew that I needed to have it because I do love it. And I also love buying at least one of these like every year because they're so freaking cute. It looks like a little skull face, a plug-in. So you put this in the wall and you put the smells and I bought the plugins that go in here. So this is how you use it. I bought one, two, three, four. I bought five of these. So let me go through the scents real quick. I got Wicked Vanilla Woods. This is a new one for me, so I hope I do like it. But I love almost anything that's vanilla that has a vanilla smell to it. I also got Vampire Blood. You already know. Chanty Candy Up Potion. Gold Friend and midnight blue citrus this is not a halloween scent but i've purchased this in the past and i love this scent it's described as fruity and happy it has juicy citrus fresh spring water and sweet mango guys it smells so freaking good and it's like a strong smell but not like a bad overwhelming smell like a good strong smell so it'll make your house smell good and it's like you smell it for a while basically so i just love this one and that's it for this order guys i'm burning up no lie so many. I hope I'm not like sweating obviously. All right, so this order was forty-eight dollars and fifty-five cents. So I did try to, you know, you know. All right, last but not least, this is so cute. This was one of those impulse purchases because I just randomly saw an ad on Instagram and I had to get it, even though I had no idea if it was a legitimate store or whatever. But yeah. So I'm glad it came <laughs> and actually shipped and came really quick. I'll put a link below to the name of the store because I don't even remember. Oh, it's called Spirit, Spearmint, Spearmint Love. I don't know, but they had a lot of cute stuff. So I got this cute little hat for Sage, my son, my one-year-old son. How cute is this? Oh my God, it says boo. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love this. I wanted to, honestly guys, they had two different ones of these. They had like the white one with the blue and black and then they had a black one, the blue and white. And I love the black one with the blue and white because it just, it made the blue stand out more since the background was black. But of course, that was the one that was sold out. Go figure. But I still got this one and I signed myself up for notifications. So if it comes back into stock, you best believe that I will be purchasing it. The second thing for Sage, I got this cute little onesie. It says spooky vibes. Yes, because we are in spooky season already, even though it's August, but it's okay. Spooky season has started. The next thing I got, all right, another cute onesie. How cute is this? It says boo, and it has a spider web. So yes, and then another thing, the last thing for the baby was a little book. It's called Trick or Treat Countdown. So it's like a little Halloween countdown book. And you can see more or less. It's so cute, guys. I love this. It's like a Christmas, but you know, Halloween version. So yeah, I got this for the baby to read to him. And then the last item here was this. It's cookie cutters. Halloween cookie cutters. So they have like a little ghost, a witch, a star, a bat, a moon, and a skull. Love this. And it's funny because I have cookie cutters to make like gingerbread cookies and for Christmas, but I've never thought of making cookies for Halloween. Like this is just genius to be honest. So I'm looking forward to using this and yeah. That was the last of it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and got some cute little ideas of things that you can get for Halloween to get sort of like in the mood or in the season or in the vibes or whatever. And even though I took a little risk with that little, you know, Instagram online store, it did turn out to be a good store. It literally shipped and came to my house in two days, guys, two days. Like I ordered this, I think I ordered it the same day as Bed Bath & Body Works and that came much quicker. So 
don't be afraid to order from small businesses or new businesses sometimes they really turn out to be some hidden treasures so if you guys are looking forward to seeing more halloween content best believe that i will be making those videos for you so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new uploads and you don't miss my upcoming halloween videos my next halloween video is probably going to be me decorating my apartment so stay tuned for that and i know that every year since i started youtube i usually do like different makeup looks for halloween or different costumes honestly guys i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to to do more than like one look maybe this year because I am on a budget and filming those type of videos does take up some coins but I will try my best to do at least one look for this Halloween and honestly those are my favorite videos to film if you look back you'll see that I literally filmed it while being pregnant and having morning sickness the first year and then the second year literally with a newborn so if you guys do enjoy my content and would like to see more from me, I do have a Patreon account in which you can you can definitely donate whatever you like if you're able to. And maybe they can even help me to make more Halloween videos this upcoming season. So, I don't know. Whatever you can to do to help, to support me. I have a Patreon account. I will try to post content on there, like more exclusive content. Going forward, I'm just trying to get back in the groove of things with, you know, YouTube and uploading more consistently. So, just bear with me. If the only way you can support is through even just subscribing or liking my videos commenting sharing honestly anything will help all right guys i need to go turn my ac on and turn on these lights so i'm done that's the last of it i'll see you guys in my next video and i hope you enjoyed this one bye